The first German city to fall to American forces was Aachen on Germany's western border. There, on October 29th, with Nazi artillery still exploding in the distance, a group of American Jewish GIs held a service that was broadcast around the world. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with the American Jewish Committee, brings you now a special broadcast of historic significance with the first Jewish religious service broadcast from Germany since the advent of Hitler. Lieutenant Max Fuchs, who had been studying to become a cantor, volunteered to sing that day. So they asked me to do the service in Aachen, Germany. The GIs wanted to do some praying, you know, and some singing, so this was, this was my part of the service. As the U.S. is beginning to occupy Germany, in the middle of these tank barriers, they held a Jewish service, and it was broadcast both over the air in Germany and was also broadcast by NBC. And it's just an extraordinary uh, statement about the defeat of the Nazis, about overturning the horrible uh, policies of Germany against the Jews. The Jewish chaplain spoke about peace on earth and things like that, and part of the service. It was a wonderful thing, a Yiska service. Yiska means remembering, remembering all the GIs that have fallen. You say a prayer for those GIs. That's when it really hit me, you know, what was happening in Europe. It was during that service, things sort of hit you, you know, you get, you get melancholy because you start to think about uh, your family, you know, all the, all the people that, that I knew. You see, I knew these people because I was 12 years old when I came here from Poland. The cousins I knew, the uncles I knew, grandparents. But when I looked out and I saw so many Jewish GIs, I wasn't the only one. There wasn't one GI there that didn't have an extended family in Europe somewhere, lost. They all, uh, they all perished. <laughs> 